Someone says surviving Naj. I'm crying. <laughs> Don't do her like that. No, do her like that. That bitch is such a flip flop. Who? Like Naj. She flip flop on everybody. She no, even like all this like, shit happened I'm between me saying. and Safari. She's so weird. <laughs> Chilling at the party, she was dancing I love me. You saying what you about to do? Who got you naughty? Shorty just laying on me, saying other things I wanted. Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're here to talk about the tea with Naj versus Safari and Hennessy. If you guys didn't know, Safari, Naj, Hennessy, Amberlynn, Danny, and Star were all in a group chat together with me and a couple of other blog pages. This was back when we were all hosting the clubhouse conversations and it seemed like this particular group of ladies formed a little bond, they were practically facetiming and on clubhouse with one another every day. At some point, Safari and Danny fell out. Safari went live and talked about the fallout and from what I gathered from it, they basically fell out over a guy. Now months later Naj falls out with Safari and Hennessy. While Safari went live she also had Rox XRJ, Hennessy, and Halo on the live. Halo starts talking about someone sending explicit videos. Safari chimes in and say she got a few explicit videos as well and started roasting them. Crazy, I do too! What? Oh, you got that? Yeah. Safari, Safari got that shit on God. <laughs> Bitch, one of them hoes is playing with me from your Fet season. One nasty of them hoes ass pussies. Fat, nasty, black booty hole ass. Barbie doll looking ass pussies. Like, y'all bitches sending y'all loose pussies. Bitches looking like a nigga. Ugh. Oh, I know exactly what pussy you talking about. <laughs> Pussy that look, that ooh, motherfucker look like a motherfucking man. Oh. Halo then asks what T and Hennessy explains that everything started because Naj started the beef between she and Safari. When Hennessy went live, I slid in the comments to get more information between the two. What's the tea with Naj? That bitch is a weirdo. That bitch is a weird ass bitch. She's the only person that I fucking linked up with from the fucking show. And the bitch can't stop talking about me. I'm convinced that bitch want to eat my pussy. Like, the bitch can't stop talking about me. I hung out with her, you feel me? And, you know, we fell out because she on some weird shit. She's wishy-washy. She'll, she'll start talking to somebody. She, literally, we've witnessed it in any conversation. Like, she'll switch up within seconds. Start talking to somebody. Like... Once they, once they express how they feel about someone, oh yeah, I kind of don't like that about them either. She's such a fucking bandwagon ass bitch. And this bitch decided to go out of her way to go, I guess, weeks later at that, weeks later. Because she was on the phone with me when I went to go link with, you know, when that whole situation happened with Safari. You know, she was the one who decided to randomly tell her weeks later that I went to go link with that nigga. But the T is now, currently, that I guess she was trying to say that I knew RJ, that I knew RJ because there was an RJ that I was with before I went to that nigga's house, but it wasn't that RJ. Bitch want to talk on me and don't even want to get her facts straight, then she want to apparently tell people I'm a cokehead. So... Like, bitch, I'm fat, first of all. Like, she just don't know how to stop talking about everybody. All that bitch do is talk, talk, talk. If she put all that energy that she uses to talk about people into getting a job or maybe getting a house, maybe she wouldn't be fucking homeless. Maybe she would, if she would have stopped wasting her time with these bullshit-ass reality TV shows, maybe she would get somewhere in life. It don't cost that much to get your tooth fixed. I spent fucking bands on a fucking BBL. My lips are fucking fake. Like, you can adjust things about yourself, you feel me? Put some money into that. 
she's just such a bandwagon she want to talk about me and it's, it's it's very it's very upsetting because i actually really fucked with her i actually really fucking liked her i really really fucking liked her that's why my stupid ass went to go hang out with her in the first place all them bitches are weird i'm not gonna say all of them you know but apparently other people have been talking about me too and if that's what people want to do like that's fine like i don't really care you feel me because it's like people bitches are going to talk bitches are going to talk and in all actuality in all actuality like it's crazy that we all have the same amount of clout. People know who I am, and I wasn't even on that fucking show. Everybody be thinking I was on the show because everybody talks about me. Hennessy then mentions she got a screenshot of Nodge sending an explicit video to Blueface. I started it, I decided to randomly start talking about me, but I just think it's funny how she's talking about me like I don't. Like, bitch, I got. I literally have a screenshot of this video. Y'all so messy, bro. Y'all so messy. And you want to get on the internet talking about me. Seven here. Seven then hops in the live and someone commented she was here. Safari said not to mention her because she didn't like her. Seven here. Don't mention her. Please don't. Cause I don't like seven. Because don't mention my name, bitch, and you ain't never met me. Halo asked, "Was it about the backwood situation?" and said, "Backwood was cap." Basically, backwood was trying to turn everyone against seven because they were beefing. Don't do that. Say it again. Hold don't on, do that. What? Don't do that. Wait, what? Wait, what? what happened? I guess she was lying, but you know. Yeah. Uh, you talking about that shit with backwood or something? Yeah. Oh, oh me. Everybody know that backwood shit was cap, bro. She was just trying to turn everybody against her. Cause uh, cause she was beefing with seven or whatever. All the girls, oh god. That, that shit was for sure. Yeah, I remember that shit. That shit was caps fuck. I was on season. I was on season zero. Seven, don't start this shit, bitch. We just confirmed it. I'm gonna leave her alone. But this, this no. <laughs> that that Let's... would do be like, oh, hey, bro. Now. I don't really keep up with Backwood too much but if you know anything about that situation don't be afraid to comment down below. While explaining the tea with Naj, Safari stated that Naj was sleeping on an air mattress and needed help with her attempt to move to LA. You knew everybody was coming. Someone said surviving Naj. I'm crying. <laughs> don't do her like that. No, do her like that. That bitch is such a flip-flop. Ooh. Like, nah, she flip flop on everybody. She no, even like, all this like, shit happened to me saying. and Safari. She's so weird. I don't know because Bad. I don't know. Because like when that, certain like... shit was getting brung out, then motherfuckers was like, no, it wasn't me. I ain't say that. It was sold to me and da 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 this. So I was like, damn, but how you don't even know me. Like, so I was kind of confused. Love her titties, mm. a. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I didn't even see. Get off her ass. No, I was just telling her what happened. I'm not on her ass. I was just telling her what happened. I'm just saying, like obviously, That's... obviously, you know, two people, so not one but two people was against you. Not one but two, cause not was you know, when I asked her as well. Mm. Sure. I be. Like, y'all, I be sitting on the blog pages, and it be just so much shit going down. I be so lost, like. Well, I take back anything I said about you then. <laughs> you yeah. This bitch is so far, he's so irritated. Resolution. <laughs> <laughs> we get some resolution. Typical Nas, nah, she a messy ass bitch. Selfmade then joins to add her two cents in on Naj and said that some of the blue GC ladies needed a place to stay. Which is why they're doing these other reality shows. Yeah. Who's okay? Who's Miss Self Made? Keep you saying add me. She was on. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave so she could add her. Okay. Now I'm talking about everybody. She talked about this because she came to Atlanta. We didn't put her on. Like, girl, you you's a grown ass woman. You came to. She Atlanta really be lying own. though. She be lying. She, that she, girl she go was, house to house. Girl, that girl. Said, she told us. She told us she had COVID from her job, but she Come really got now. COVID. Since that show, they done lived with almost four BGC girls. Stop playing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why everybody in the dark now? 
Why? Right. And to be honest, these girls go on these shows because they need housing. They don't go on them just to do them. They need somewhere to stay. Stop you, playing. They you not lying. Give her the book. They need somewhere to live. Come on now. After after this show, watch them go to another one. I let them stay for 30 days. <laughs> Send in your Juliet challenge. Best TikTok wins $100 cash prize. Don't forget to tag Blue Girls Club TV and hashtag Juliet challenge.